Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting the Indiana Bomb Bank. Really thank the city of Evansville for having us down, mayor and team. We have the Indiana Bomb Bank and the treasurer's office down to celebrate this reimbursement of funds to the city of Evansville, which we're so pleased to come down uh, and make the in-person presentation for. My name is Mark Waller. I'm the executive director of the Indiana Bond Bank, and our mission in life is very simple in that we serve local units of government with any financial needs or challenges that they may have. And so we are a public sector entity. Our board is chaired by the state treasurer, Kelly Mitchell. And so we are for the public, by the public, and we're looking out to help you execute your mission in the city of Evansville to your constituents. And just take us back to last year. Where did this money come from? Last year, 2020, in the middle of the summer, about this time, it was just uh, so much uncertainty with CARES, I'm sorry, with the coronavirus, um, certainly, and with just the uncertainty of where revenue might come from and what, what the coronavirus might do to the revenues for um, local government, state government, our schools. And so the bond bank stood up a program really quickly. We're really proud of what we were able to do in terms of offering short-term cash flow loans just to help our units of government get through that period of uncertainty. And we did it with uh, no upfront cost. Uh, we built in, I think like a highway, built in about three, ex three or four exit ramps. Usually some of these short-term loans, if you get them privately, it'll be six months or 12 months term. We didn't want to lock in our local units at all. We wanted you to be able to get it, use it when you needed it, and get off that exit ramp as quickly as you needed to. So we built in two or three exit ramps so you could get the money and get out quickly. And we had a very low all-in interest rate. So it was great, we got everybody through, but then the bond bank team with the treasurer kind of went back and thought, okay, how might we make it just a little bit better? Is there something else we could do just to notch it up one, one more bit of benefit for our, our customers? And we identified some federal reimbursement actually that we were able to secure. So we went out on behalf of all, uh, all the units who borrowed through us, including the city of Evansville. And unbeknownst to them, uh, worked through all the red tape, uh, jumped through all the hoops and were able to secure reimbursement for nearly 100% of the interest that you paid to us through the program. And so by choosing the bond bank, you're able to secure an interest-free loan, essentially, uh, to get you through some of the worst times of COVID-19 last year. Well, first, a thank you to the Indiana Bond Bank because they have been extraordinary partners with the city, uh, and it certainly predates um, our, uh, our tax warrant uh, process. Um, so we're grateful of the longstanding partnership and ability to come alongside us as we try to execute what we want to do here. But just for a little perspective, when the governor, and rightfully so, uh, waived the, debt, the uh, penalties for late property tax, it put local government into a position of not really knowing how much money it would receive. We knew about, we knew about how much we would get, we didn't know when we'd get it. Uh, so for perspective, uh, we get a little over $50 million a year in property tax revenue. Uh, as a result of uh, a lot of number crunching, the city finance department and others uh, decided that we needed to ta take advantage of this tax warrant program and got a little over $16 million in short-term loans. So that was great. That really made sure we could uh, maintain our cash flow. It, it meant that we could maintain this level of city services that we all expect of the city of Evansville. But with a loan become, comes interest rates, so the city of Evansville, for its roughly $16 million in loans, paid uh, about $64,000 in interest. Uh, certainly lower than market uh, and appreciate, much appreciated by the fact that we can uh, get a reimbursement of that uh, interest payment is certainly icing on the cake. And we're grateful for all the work that's been done behind the scenes, again, as you mentioned, unbeknownst to uh, all of us that this was in the works. So we're grateful for the Bond Bank and, and Treasurer Mitchell for their great uh, stewardship and understanding that local units of government need all the assistance we can get. So we're very grateful and anxious to get that really big check over there. Absolutely. 